Hey, Kate. Hey, Aaron. Uh, thanks for having me on. I think the thing that we wanted to talk about today, we're pretty excited. We just rolled out a new functionality with our storage product that is called Load Control. The basic idea is we want to make a product that is uh, simple and fast to install for installers and then give homeowners uh, you know, as much control over their energy as they could possibly want. And so those two things kind of come together in this, where every home is now going to be set up for whole home backup. And then uh, the, the homeowner is able to control all of their different loads through an app, right? And so this is this is kind of brand new. It's industry first functionality. And I'll just walk you through a couple of use cases for this. Uh, so one of them would be, for instance, on, on basic mode, right? And so in basic mode, if you have a system and there's a grid outage, you now have a set amount of power that you're going to be able to work with. And there are things that you probably don't want to be powering if you're going to be relying on, on your battery at that point. An EV charger is a, is a really good example of that. For the most part, you're going to want that load to drop. And you can set that up to just do that automatically in basic mode. Make sure you're saving enough power for you know more essential loads, you know, refrigeration or for you know medical devices or things like that. Another mode on that's battery mode, which we think is important for things like air conditioning, right? Where you can say, I want to run my AC as long as there's you know 40% or more a battery charge left. And then after that, it'll drop the air conditioner as well to prioritize those, those more essential loads. Uh, and then I think kind of crucially, you can also override this at any time. You know, in the past, you'd have to install a like a critical loads panel that's going to be expensive. It's going to add complexity for installers. And you're going to kind of lock in the, the homeowner for you know however many years they're going to have that system. Uh, so this is basically just about giving flexibility and, uh, and about making things a little simpler and faster to install. As far as the why now part of this, uh, you know, as part of our announcement last week uh, with uh, with load control we also announced that existing uh, n phase solar customers people have the microinverters on the roof uh, can now get add uh, at our storage product the uh, the n charge battery uh, using a loan which is a first for us as well. Uh, obviously, you can always get both together, but now if you're if you you know you just want to add a battery to your solar system, you can do that. So that's that's the pitch from from me today. I'm happy to answer any questions that you guys have on it. That's so exciting. I know that this is something that will help those who own in phase energy storage systems make more complete use of their batteries, so to speak. You know, make sure that they don't have any loads that are discharging the battery much more quickly than they were anticipating, and, and as a result, find themselves without any backup. Can you tell us a little bit about what customers will need in order to enable these new features in, in their in-phase system? Does their system have to be designed a certain way or is this just a software update that happens over the air? Yeah, so it's it's software and hardware and you know, the homeowners in particular should just talk to their installers when they're setting their house up. You'll, you'll, you'll work with them to put you know which loads you want on which circuits and then the rest of it's controlled through software and the app. Bobby, thanks for joining us today on Solar Spotlight. If folks want to learn more, please check out Enphase Storage on our web store or reach out to your rep with any questions. Thanks for watching and let us know what products or vendors you'd like to see on the next Solar Spotlight. See you next time.